everybody once again and welcome to another episode of Smarticus. That's right. That's the name of this show, Smarticus. No matter what you've heard come out of my mouth before, that is the name. Look, I'm Daz. It's great to be here with some other hosts who we're going to test and see what their knowledge is like. So you know exactly how smart we all are. Alrighty, joining us here today, Not very smart. Have the person, <laughs> we have the person who thinks that Mesopotamia is a type of noodle soup, Josh. How do you we come have... up with all these things? <laughs> it's Every it's week it's something different. Uh, <laughs> uh, we have the person who is imbibing the spirit of Christmas today, Dan. Uh, and uh, we have also the person who's imbibing the spirit of raccoons, Keenus. And finally, we have the person who's imbibing the spirit of having twins, Justin. <laughs> wow. I, I, given that you've had them, I'm amazed that you look as young as you do. Oh, you're very kind. It's very kind. <laughs> okay. For those of you who are not familiar with the rules, and why aren't you, it's very simple. Each single host is going to be asking a question, and once they do, the rest of us have to try and figure out what the answer is. If we get it right, we get a point. And then if uh, the person who asks a question other people get it right he gets a point for every single person that gets it right except if everybody does in which case he wasn't being smart enough and gets no points also if someone makes us laugh like we really laugh we'll give them a big <laughs> <Yeah>. point <laughs> you know we have to give josh points somehow okay so without further ado let's get started Like I said before, my name is Daz. I'm here in Canberra. Now, the wonderful thing about Canberra is there's nothing wonderful about Canberra. No, that's not true. We do have, like... So, my first <laughs> question is... <laughs> what animal is the most closely related to the giraffe? What animal... Besides another giraffe, that is. What animal is most closely related to the giraffe? Let's see how many people know the answer to that. Ten seconds on the clock. Alrighty. And that's our time. Ooh, did I ask you a question that's too hard again? Let's see. Alrighty. Christmas Dan, how about you start us off? Yeah, um, so the giraffe. Yeah. Uh, he's obviously closely connected to the H Raf or the F Raf. <laughs> <laughs> so. Okay. okay. Right. Probably. I can see the relation there. Oh, yeah. Okay. I like how your brain thinks. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> In the water, the melting water. And, and is it more of a homey G Raf? Is that what we're talking about? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Josh, what's your answer? Um, well,. I'm living up to what I said earlier. Um, I have no idea. So I just wrote Flamingo, because why not? <laughs> flamingo, right? Flamingo. Yes. Well, you know, they've got long necks and long legs, like a giraffe. Both so live in Africa. They both live... Where's Africa? Did you say Africa? <laughs> this anyway. time, you can't leave us hanging. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty Justin, sure Flamingo. what is your answer? I just went for the humble horse. I just thought four legs, bit of a neck, a tail, you know, mm. it works. Yeah. Or not. Yeah, that's... It's got everything that an animal has. Yeah. <laughs> that's true. You, you should have drawn a picture of a horse, though. I try. It is. It's okay. there. As I said, you should have drawn a picture of a horse. <laughs> <laughs> it's upside down, Miss Jane. Upside down, Miss Jane. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> And, I and that finally, was S monster. <laughs> that's yeah. what I, was going. I thought maybe they were closely linked to that. I thought, well, hang on, that's a mythical creature. They can't be that. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of, of mythical creatures, they really are unicorns. They're just known as rhinoceroses. So it's just uh, <laughs> unicorns at a plus size. Um, okay. That, yeah, so, Keenan. Oh, well, you know, I'm going with everybody's uh, inclination there that uh, it's an animal, it's got four legs, so um, I think it's closer to a squirrel. <laughs> Yet again, I've asked a question that is too hard. So, but I, so I've written down the actual answer. Would you like to pronounce that for us there, Josh? A copy? Close enough, a KP or a copy, sometimes it's called as well. Looks like... <laughs> I lose that round by asking too hard a question. 
Oh, right. Darren, you, just, you, you overestimated us, man. about this game, Darren? <laughs> you overestimated us. <laughs> yeah, so, okay, let's go now with Justin. Uh, how about you give us your question, mate? Okay, so my question is from my trusty uh, on this day calendar, which I love for trivia questions. And it was a it was a thing that happened on this day. Well, almost it did happen in this month, uh, and it was in 1998. A company was incorporated by two people, Larry Page and Sergey Brin. Which company was founded on this day uh, in 1998? by two students, Larry Page and Sergey Brin. What's the company? We're not allowed to look up the answers, are we? We're not allowed to cheat. It's uh, the same rules apply here. I would think so. Oh, oh, is that a hint? Is that a hint? I'm just going to have a sip of beer, Darren. (laughs) And time's up, ladies and gentlemen. So, okay, well, before Darren changes his answer, let's go to Darren for his answer. <laughs> Which company okay. was founded in 1998 well, by Larry Page and Sergey Brin. And they sold this particular part of the company to Microsoft for $6 million at the time. And that was Hotmail. Ooh, okay, Hotmail. Very good, very yeah. good. So uh, he emails his, in his answer. Uh, Keenan. What are your thoughts? Think something, but the autocorrect took over a goggle box. Okay. And Daniel? I uh, will have to go with Google, I think. I'll have to check it later on Google. Yeah, okay, we can check it later. And Josh? I I was thinking along the same lines as uh, Dan. Google, although I decided to write Googleplex instead. Um, Right. But there's Google, it's there. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so, in nice. fact, it was. Larry Page and Sergey Brin had founded Google in 1998. So, that, that was a clue. Don't look it up. Don't Google the answer. Nah. So, oh, oh. Does, does Gogglebox get it? I mean, he almost had Google there. Was just no, missing... this this actually like supports the cases like why writing down pen and paper is always better than technology because I didn't see anyone's autocorrect take over on those pieces of paper. My <laughs> iPad took over. Um, I only so... got my iPad here, so yeah. <laughs> well, All right, with that, we'll move on to Josh. How about you give us your question? All right. Well, the usual spiel of stuff. I'm in Canberra. I'm at places. I did stuff. Anyway, question. Uh, <laughs> So, I've gone the uh, food route here. Uh, what name does deer meat go by? By deer, do you mean expensive? <laughs> no, the animal deer. <laughs> does spelling count for this? Uh, because if, Keenan if you, has if you're enough, close Keenan enough. Has, Keenan has an unfair and a disadvantage. And a disadvantage, yeah. <laughs> I mean, if it's, if it's obvious that's what you were trying to say, then... Okay, yeah, yeah. I think so. But if it's, like, obviously, like, I'm trying so hard, guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there is no final <laughs> deck. <laughs> the app that I'm using actually doesn't have autocorrect. It was just for comical purposes oh, on that last Oh, okay. Oh, no, don't say no. that. <laughs> I, I'm assuming our countdown has, has finished by now. Oh yeah, sorry. Oh, yeah. The countdown is definitely over. We're done. We're you, just, done. you just gotta have some casual conversations sometimes, Daz. Anyway, that was twenty-five <laughs> seconds. Yeah, we're, we're over. Five, That's five seconds. That. not that bad. Let's start with you, Dan. Yeah, it's Christmas had... over in Melbourne, apparently. It is. It is. I'm gonna hurry in before uh, the curfew comes in. Um, even though I'm inside, them. makes no sense. Um, I went Benny son, but also um, politically correct Benny daughter. So. You can be politically correct in 2020. <laughs> it's a very serious time in 2020. <laughs> All right, uh, Daz, what about you? What have we got? Dan, I always knew there was a reason why I liked you. It's Benny, son. The <laughs> <laughs> uh, jokes are just flying. All right, yeah. Justin, what have you uh, got? So- this is exactly why I asked about the spelling. I went for Benny Sen with a C. Benny Sen? Sen? Uh, <laughs> like as in Venetian blind. 
<laughs> so uh, uh, oh, Venetian yes. blind. So it's the no idea meat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, we have Kanan going and the lovely statue of Rocket behind you. That is a really nice statue. <laughs> what do you mean statue? I just thought he was standing really still. <laughs> That's Drax. <laughs> You've got the complete wrong character. <laughs> Yeah. Um, and this actually proves that I'm not going to use the auto crate. Um, it's supposed to be Venice, like in uh, yeah, it's uh, Venice. 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 Um, yeah, it's uh, it's it's complete yeah. opposite to Venice off. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when, you, in, uh, when you're cooking it, it's like oh, I'm Venice on, I'm Venice off. Venice off. Venice off. Well. Okay, it's obvious that I got no points in that round. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, but that makes the lead even greater for Justin there, now on four points. Whoa. Okay, Keenan, time for your question. All right, cool. So, um, trivia host extraordinaire, um, when other people are absent and I'm filling in. Um, but, got my experience working on the uh, almighty cruise ships. Um, and yes, before you ask, yes, it was that company. and. Yes, it was that ship, but it was like 2012, so that's like okay. it's all in the past now. All right, but in the ultra does that does that take you away when you think about it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, it was um, you know, it's all about love, exciting and new. Um, just come aboard. Yeah. Um, I respect They're expecting you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but speaking of cruise ships, um, uh, which ship is famed for picking up the Titanic survivors? Ooh. Oh, was famed for picking up the Titanic survivors. Oh, now, if you think of the end of the movie where Kate Winslet's sitting out there and she pulls in, she pulls out that big jewel, and you know she's like not even sad that there was actually room for Jack up on board that raft. Um, you know that was just the worst movie ever. I never saw it because um, I knew what happened at the end of it. Um, the ship sank. Um, what? Oh, sorry, oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, what a stupid movie that was. It's like, you know, Margaret, she's like, that'll get some oh, conversation Margaret. going in the comments. <laughs> right, she's running through with an axe, running through two <laughs> meters deep water to cut him down for his like handcuff to the but do you think she'd move over a little bit to leave him up on the raft? No. Um, so yeah, let's just like. So, oh, Jack, I, I was just wondering if you were talking about Titanic or another totally different movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, Jack, I'll never let you go. Oh, bye. Um, yeah. So we're now doing movie reviews as well as online <laughs> trivia, folks. It's good. <laughs> That's All right, fun. answers, answers, answers. Let's start with you, dads. Okay. Um, well, I feel your rage. And I also didn't know what the answer was, so I went, they could have both been! <laughs> uh, but I did put California just as a, as a Hail Mary. Okay, uh, okay, that's all right, yes. Um, the old USS, they could have both fit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> sailing to a port near you. Uh, <laughs> all right, Dan, what do we got? Uh, I was thinking they throw out like those circle kind of life boy ring things. So then I thought Lord of the Rings, and then I thought ships, and I thought uh, Fellowship of the Ring. Oh, yes. <laughs> so, bit of a long way. Yeah. Sorry, play yeah, almost, yeah. that's definitely a point to Dan. That is a point, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, Justin? Justin. Uh, so I don't know how specific we need to be, but from watching the movie, wasn't it a Norwegian fishing ship that just happened to be out there and picked up a signal and a Norwegian fishing ship? That's yeah. a no for Keith. <laughs> Can we wait till we hear all the answers? It's how specific that this looks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Josh, save us. Save us. Like you saved everyone in the Titanic. Save Come us. Come on, man, we're sinking here. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know if I'll be able to do that, um, but I, I, know, I, I know I'm going to be like, oh, that's what it was called afterwards, but um, I, I decided to go visually, and uh, this is definitely the ship that rescued the passengers on the Titanic. Oh, that's it. <laughs> definitely. See, it's got everything on it. Beautiful picture. That's the one. It took me yeah, 20 seconds perfect. to draw it. 
Manchester United, Josh, you were actually the closest there, except you didn't draw Kate Winslet at the end throwing the jewel off the back of the boat. <laughs> if you hadn't done that, I would have given you 100 points right now. I don't know if that's allowed that, but uh, I'll give you that note. Uh, um, I think the Norwegian fishing boat takes it, um, because yeah, but the actual... It was called the Carpathia. Oh, yeah. ah, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's not get bogged down with details. Oh, I had a ship. It started yeah. with sea. They um <laughs> they named it uh they they gave tribute into it. the Lion King. Did the... <laughs> they gave tribute to the Lion King Did... with it? Uh, uh Carpathia. Pick up the Savannah. Uh, that's what oh, it's called. Funny. Well, bringing us home towards Christmas, um, we have <laughs> have Dan. So, uh, take it away, mate. Ho, ho, ho. Hopefully you can get this one right, guys. Uh, it's got nothing to do with Christmas. Uh, what you call it? Oh, good. We do spend a lot of Christmas and maybe we have coins with us, possibly. Uh, my question is, how many uh, sides uh, on the current 50 cent piece? How many sides on the current 50 cent piece coin? The Australian coin? 50 are we cents. Talking, are we talking around the outside or around the outside? How many edges? Yeah, how many edges? How many edges? How many edges? On the fifty cent coin, used to be. This is, this is close to home for Canberra. This is very, very much a Canberra question for the. It news. is. You think I'm going to go around counting the edges on the side of a fifty cent coin? <laughs> <laughs> I'll be like, I'm yeah, bored true, one day. True. One, two. <laughs> Three. Oh no, I lost count. <laughs> Time is up, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Keenan, what... oh, I'm, I'm free to hold the iPad up. That's weird. What has Keenan got in mind? Oh. I got my answer. Oh, yes, please. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> we were, we were waiting. Oh, what are you waiting till uh, Christmas? <laughs> it's Christmas again, and okay. uh, Keenan. Oh, I'm, I'm, taking, I'm taking the clue out of you with the uh, the Santa hat um, on the 12th day of Christmas. Oh, very nice. Very nice, very nice. 12, 1 and 2. All right. Justin, did you think something similar? I wasn't thinking Christmas at all. I was just thinking there's got to be 12 sides on that baby. In fact, I've drawn them. There they are. The 12 sides, uh, yep. Yeah. Story checks out. Okay. Uh, Des jokes. Okay. Well, obviously, there's only two sides, the inside and the outside. Uh, uh, <laughs> actually, 12. Oh, <laughs> he's on. And Mr. Josh, what are you thinking? Well, did you uh, toss a coin for this one, Josh? Like no, I didn't. But I said twelve as well. Oh, twelve as well. Oh, really? It is twelve. It is twelve. Uh, everyone gets the point on that one, I think. And you do not. <laughs> I do not. Does anyone know what it's called? A twelve-sided object or shape? Dodecahedron. Yeah. Think uh, so. That's three D, isn't it? Dodecahedron. Oh, Dodecahedron. I think. Dodecahedron. Yeah. Dodecahedron. 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 yeah. Does anyone know why they put the edges on it? Yes, I did. Yeah, over to the Mint in Canberra. That's where I found out. <laughs> I read that wall, Daz. Because because they went, we want some money that's edgy. No, uh, because uh, want it, it looked, to be different. <laughs> and people yeah, were it looked just like the twenty no, cent But they, I mean, fifty cent. They should name a rapper after that. It's, a, it's just got a good ring to it. <laughs> it does. And on that note, I guess we have. Uh, I guess we've now come to the end of the match. How did you enjoy it there at home? He's a rapper uh, with, from America. If there are other hosts out there who'd like to join us as well, why don't you send me a message? Uh, and if you have enjoyed today, make sure that you like, share, and subscribe. Um, and if you're and late, wait, please pick up the phone. <laughs> <laughs> you're late. Yes. Oh, and congratulations on Raiders and their grand final win, by the way. Oh, uh, <laughs> You might have to edit that one out, Darren. Look, if I say it enough times, it's going to happen. Exactly. <laughs> okay, well, join us again for a wonderful episode of Smarticus. Hey, you're the Viking Club.